Hello everyone, it's Rita here, and today I'm going to um, do a little trash tr treasure, trash to treasure, <laughs> not Tuesday, because it's not Tuesday. Um, I'm going to take this little um, bag, this little paper cute bag, and I'm going to cut it and in a way that I think will work just to make it a pocket. So, I don't, I'm trying to decide whether... Okay, I'm just going to cut it down this, I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, I'll just cut it and yeah, maybe you can see it better. I'm going to cut straight down this side seam, right to there. And I think this part can fold back uh, after I cover it. And then if I do this way to this corner... I don't know how this is going to work for sure, but we'll see. All right, and then I'm going to do this side. It's so hard to cut stuff. Hard for me to see. That's what it is. I'm going to get a smaller scissors. So we have, we can fold these back, and I think we can fold, I think if I cut this part off here, I can fold it up. So this can come up this way. bulk here. I'll just go like that. Okay. I don't know, I just kept looking at this little envelope, I mean this little bag, and I kept thinking, what can I make with it? All right, these guys I'm going to take out because I probably won't want this color. Okay. So the other side, so you get two pockets. Cut this part off. It doesn't have to be perfect, I realize. Cause... Okay, and that part's going to go up there. Now that I'm looking at this, I can actually go this way and that will take the bulk out. Okay, so now, like so. So I hope everybody's doing well. <clears throat> Today is Mother's Day and um, I'm filming on this Sunday morning and um, waiting for my kids. Um, my son's coming over. My daughter's having a barbecue. And it's kind of hard, you know, when your kids are, got their own kids to, you know, their own children. Can't expect them to be over here at mom's. I hope you guys can see because I moved my camera down and I am just trying to get a different angle that works. Okay, so I'm not going to glue that yet. This one, oh, okay, so we could fold this over. Wow, that's cool. Another little spacious spot. I wonder if I shouldn't cut this out. I'll try it on this side and see what happens. And I think I'll just take a little sliver out of this. That way, 
It won't be very bulky there. So I'll go like that. And I'm just going to make this small little swivel. Okay. So let me decorate this one. Um, let me cover it with some papers. Um, I want something that goes with, um, the other day I was showing you how I made this little picture, I don't know what I did with her, but, um, and I said I was going to try to do some Tim Holtz ones. So I, I came up with this one. And then I've got another one here and another one. But are these going to even fit on the front of that pocket? Well, they don't, but I can always, since they're a pocket, I can just leave them sticking up like that. So I'll see if that that's going to work. But yeah, I had, um, all I did was, this one I'm not finished because I don't know. All I did was um, took one of the large flowers that I've cut from, I think um, these may be from either Adamo Prince or um, Rachel at Rocky, Roxy Creations. And then I put this little bench on there. And then I sat this little Tim Holtz guy on the bench. It's so cute. And then I have a dragonfly that I might sit there or a bird. It might be too big. And then I have this smaller bird. And then maybe, I don't know, something else. But yeah, I think I did something like this. Just give it, let's see. Okay, where I left off um, a minute ago, I <clears throat> my son came by. Um, I was trying to put something together that would go on the front of one of these um, pockets. So, but right now I just need to get the pocket covered. I'll move those out of the way. And I think I like this. I mean, when you think about it, you really don't even need this, right? You could make this out of your own, with your own paper. Um, kind of seems uh, silly to do this, actually. But it'll give it a stronger base. So I'm going to glue stick all of this. I think I'll glue stick this too. And that way um, I just um, maybe I guess depending on what kind of bags you have the sturdiness of them because this one now does not feel that thick of, of a paper that I cut it apart so all right and if it doesn't um, stick really well I will come back Let's see, I guess that is the right side up. And I think I'll use the edge here of the paper, of the pocket of the bag. Glue that all down. Okay. I was thinking I did checking to see if I turn the camera back on. I opened the door. Um, a very nice day out today so so far it was a little humid 
when I this morning. Okay. So now you know how to cover something and trim it. It's not very difficult, is it? Uh, I think I'm going to poke, um, I think, let's see, I think I'll poke holes through these, excuse me, so that I know where they are, because I want to put a tie in that somehow. Okay. Now these get all folded up, and it's still damp. Oh, oops, sorry. I like that it gives it a little structure, a little bit stronger. Let's see this. I think that is somewhat in the way. Okay. So now I'm going to glue this down. upside down it's not all right so basically that's the pocket um so I'm thinking if I put something this big on it um then the ties are not going to make any difference I mean the um if I put ribbon through there it would cover those holes up so let's see what could I do otherwise I really like that on that background though um, I guess I didn't pre-think it I I thought of it I just um, now it doesn't seem to be the right size so let me see if I have something else I can use instead mm. well, let me look around I'll be right back okay I'm back um, I've had a hard time today trying to get things to, to work out. Um, this is some uh, seam binding that I bought quite a long time ago. I don't even know where um, it was from. But um, I love this this uh, color with this. So I'm going to put this in here and make a bow. And then if I want to decorate it, I will. This one, I think, um, not that part, but this one I may use um, somewhere else in the um, journal so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to punch holes here and where the handles were because I already poked a hole through them so I have to kind of do it here but probably could have done them up higher I don't but it looks good this way Okay, uh, and I think I'll put these white eyelets in. Oh, I don't know now. Do I want those? Hmm. I 
then I saw on uh, one of the channels, I think it is um, Vintage Rose Lane. Um, she had a like a tic tac, -tac um, box and she put her things in there like that and just dump them out. And I thought, wow, that's a great idea. But now I have to buy a lot more Tic Tacs and save the save the containers because I could put eyelets in those and all kinds of things. I'm just going to look and see which I like better. Oh, I do like brass better. Okay. These are totally, these are, we are memory keeper that came with, um, and these are too, yeah. They're a little different than the ones I have. All right, let me see if this works. So I think I have it in the right setting because I didn't move it. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> Feels like it, whoops, I got one. Works really well. It seems like it's, I think, I don't know how to put the washers on. You know, those, there's ones that come with washers. <clears throat> um, but I'm not sure how to do that. All right. Get that out of the way. Get these things out of the way for now. Okay. So let's see. Hmm. I can poke that in. Leave this a little extra long because I don't know where I want to trim it yet. can tie a bow lately um, my hands just don't want anything to do with the bow and I don't understand it but okay. I twisted that the wrong way or something So I think that's cute. I mean, so let's put something on the top here. So I have, um, I don't really like that. This one I kind of liked, but now I don't think I want this orange butterfly. So let's see what else I have. Um, I do have a postage stamp. Hmm. I never ever use uh, these. These ones I made, I think. No, I cut them out of uh, something. Hmm. Looking for stamps, right? I don't know, I was just thinking. Nah, I don't like that one. 
All right, so this one, I'm going to have to trim it up. I like that flower coming up there, but I don't know if I want two stamps. That doesn't look right. These are from the kit. Not that. Well, I guess maybe that will be better. Maybe if I stick it under like that. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> These were all in the kit too. I don't know. I think there's. I'm supposed to do something with them, but I don't know what. Oh, let's see this. Nope, I don't see it. I don't see me liking it. Okay. Know I'm not very prepared, but I don't like to do it in advance and then come back and then try to do it on the video because I don't know, it just doesn't seem as much fun. Oh, you know what I should do is, let me stick this on there. I guess it looks okay. It's not my most favorite thing. I thought maybe I would put some of this behind it. And I always forget about the cheesecloth. Design. Okay.
Okay. I like it. All right. So, whoops. I was trying to think if I have a page, I could just put that on and be done with it. I did measure this first, so it's five inches, so I should have enough room. But I'm going to rip off this edge here. this doesn't take off too much and it won't fit. usually decorate pages um, before I put them in the journal, but I ink them up a little bit. And I usually do all this off screen. trying to figure out some kind of contraption where you could just put the paper in and go like that and like that and it would ink both sides at the same time <laughs> just because it's time consuming and it's no fun to do this part all right so I'm going to set that on there and this I hope does not cause the journal card or whatever I put in here to get. I'm going to glue it down so it will stay close to the top of the page there. Okay. here. Don't get stuck up on me now. I was going to do um, a couple of Rachel's challenge. But the ones that I've kind of watched her, 
um, recently. I don't know if it's week 16, 17. I think she's up to 18. But um, they were painting and stuff like that. And I just, um, I just um, don't know if I want to do that. So I haven't looked at her video for last last Fridays yet. But I'm going to look at that and see if it's one that I would like to to do. I'd like to do hers, but uh, some you know, there's just things that I'm not. I don't have the tools for, um, like the jelly prints or the paints and things like that. Okay, so that's that. I, let me just see if I have a... Oh, there you go. I'll sew around it. Put it back in. Oh, it's got a back in. Isn't that nice? I think that turned out really cute. It looks crooked, but I used a line here, but I guess it wasn't. Hmm. Oh, well, it's not very noticeable. I'll make it crooked that way. I put another one on that side. Okay, so this can go in um, the journal. And I don't know where my pages are, so I'm just going to sit over here. And um, let's see how much time. Okay. So I wanted to share with you. Um, the fabric that I was thinking to use on the outside. And I hope this is going to work. It's got the blue and... This is a vintage, now I mean vintage by like maybe 80s or 90s vintage, not vintage vintage, but um, let me see, these papers, see how I think those actually will work with that as the cover. Yeah, I like that. This pink is a little too pink, though, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm, darn. I wonder, I suppose I could, there's no way to get away from the pink part. Even this one is getting all kind of um, marks, stain from age. Um, okay, so if I use this, I'll, I'm going to try to get as much of that pink not showing, but it's probably going to. But I'm going to put lace on it, which I don't know where I put the lace. Um, yeah, I'm going to add some lace and things, so we'll see how that looks. We'll see if I like it. And I'm going to put that on um, I just had everything here and then I end up losing it again I put it someplace I could find it so I'm going to use this book cover. This is the last one I have because I decided I was going to donate all of my extra books that that I used to paint them, but now I don't do that anymore. So um, I use them, the book covers for the journal covers because they're very strong. I mean, it's well, this one it will rip, but not anything like just regular paper. So. Um, it's pretty sturdy and I'll cut it down to size and then I'll put um, I'm probably gonna make it spineless because I, I like to make curved journals just or maybe I'll put it uh, hidden I'm not sure but anyway that's my plan for that with that fabric 
Okay, so I do have a few more minutes, so let me see what else was I going to work on. I have a piece of clip page, and I have done this before. Here's another journal card, because I was trying to do things with journal cards that were... Um, I'm looking to see if I have another a little bit bigger journal card in this kit. I think that won't fit. All right, I guess it's, we'll use this one. Let me ink this. So this is um, such a simple way to add ephemera to your journal. And you'll have um, quite a bit of writing space too. So what I do is just take this, well you can do it anyway, it doesn't really matter, and fold it up. I think I'll ink around it. Just a little bit. And then, so you fold it in half like this. And I don't want codfish on the front, so I'm going to fold it this way in half. Or I could do it this way with the flower, coffee bean. Either way, it doesn't matter because it's going to be upside down part of it. So that might look nice. And then I'm going to put this on the front. And let's see. I wonder if I could put something else on there. I guess I could put it down a little bit lower and that would show. Um, a label of some kind. It's usually the first piece I put down that I like. Oh, that's kind of nice. Um, I don't know. I think I like this one. I was thinking a butterfly, but I don't like that butterfly. Okay, I'm not gonna mess around looking for stuff. I think this is just plenty. my right ink. Oh. I'll do the start gray. Oh, here's my black. One of these days I'm going to get it together again. I'm not going to go all the way to the top because <sighs> let me drop that. Hold on. 
on. I'm going to go way down here and try to over stamp it. Yeah, it's all right. It's okay. I have a whole bunch of them. I, I don't know what happened to them. They're all mixed together now. a little bit along that edge. I can cover that with that. I'm hoping I can make three signatures in this journal. to do something that's a little bit um, on the larger size. I do love this fa uh, the fabric or the papers there. Okay. Now we're going to cover. This is so simple to do. A blue book. Oh, I like the back side of this too. on the back.
it's got white on it. Okay. I was thinking that side didn't have white. Sorry about that little beep. I have um, a camera right at my back door. Um, it's hooked up to my phone, so if somebody comes and knocks on the door, I can I can see who it is before I go answer. But every time a car drives by, it beeps, <laughs> so I might have to do something about that. Okay, so now we have this and this, and then we have this and we can do this whole part too. And um, I mean, I've always done it in sections because I don't want the paper to be in the fold. So, let's see. I think I'm gonna ink this so I can see it. if I had the whole sheet. Enough to get the edges so there's no white. I think it was a piece stuck to my finger, and it's like, what's going on? I like these little sections because you can write just what one day in here. Something you want to remember. And I'm not worried about them matching or lining up.
Okay. So I need one more piece up there. Um, here I could put a separate one here it would be nice if I could just tear it kind of straight guys are probably bored sick maybe you fast forward maybe you speed up the video maybe you give up but this all takes time all these little inking and everything since I've used one. You dried. Yep. You both dried up. All right. Okay, so that works, and there's the front, and that will fit inside of a pocket. I don't have the handy, but pretend that we put it in here. Okay. And you can sew around these, too, if you'd like. Um around your outside pages or even around these little well you really can't do that because if you do you'll yeah I would just sew either up and down the sides if you're gonna sew at all. So I don't think I will because it's not it's not necessary. Okay guys so I hope you um stuck with me for this time. I don't know how much time I've spent more than I wanted because I I think I have plenty of time left, and then I start something, and it takes forever. Okay, so I will see you in the next video. Have a great day, and bye.